Well, I forgot to start this earlier, but I'm gonna redo my office here. So here's a quick tour. Shelves like this, whiteboard, another desk with all my junk on it. Obviously it's not very organized. So this carpet is super dingy. I want to replace it. So I went and bought some hardwood. So we're gonna do that. And unfortunately this closet here has my gun safe in it and it's attached to the floor. So I'm gonna have to do a threshold. Just leave carpet in there, I guess for now. Let's get to it. So the room is empty. I made a little like stupid makeshift thing. I didn't want to run to Home Depot and grab some plastic and like tape it up and do it all fancy. Like so I had a packing blanket and I took some of these nails. Uh, they're staples. Just stapled it into the top of the uh, into the top of the door frame. So now time to start ripping up some carpet. So carpet's up, but what we found was linoleum over hardwood that the carpet was tacked to. So now, uh, now I'm kind of just taking this and looking under here. I think, oh, maybe there's two layers of linoleum. I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna keep going and see what happens. All right, so check this out. I might get lucky. So in the last room I did, the floor had tacks everywhere from the carpet pad. This time, since there's linoleum underneath, um, I'm just ripping up the board, pulling it up, or ripping up the linoleum, pulling it up with these pliers. And so far, the linoleum is pulling all the tacks out with it. So I might just get lucky and not have to just skip that whole step. Uh, day two, we're gonna get get going. I went and borrowed some of these from my father-in-law because this on the floor was really not cut. So I'm going to clear off these shelves right here, demo those out. So I want to end up putting some uh, different texture wall right there and then some floating shelves. So anyways, got to get the floor up first before we do all that. Okay, so I lied. It did not turn out to be easier. I was hoping that taking up the linoleum was gonna pull all the tacks out. Well, it kind of didn't, it kind of didn't. What I mean by that is, really all I ended up with was this layer, this layer, and this is actually on the hardwood, which you, you can see over here is this kind of protective layer. So what I'm having to do is, but see how dry it is? It's just scraping up one bit at a time. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next hour or two probably. So rip my back. So one thing I don't think a lot of channels I watch talk about is drinking and getting enough protein. So I'm gonna make, you're gonna make me something to eat. I love it and I'm gonna get some water. This is what happens when your wife loves you. Look at this, salsa, sausage, eggs, potatoes. That's a good meal. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do something different. I'm having to use that crowbar to get underneath those uh, tiles because they're so glued down and uh, it's destroying my hands. So I'm gonna go to the store and uh, get 
maybe a wider scraper of some kind. I don't know. I'm only getting up in little strips like this. Let's go see what we can find. Uh, for the store trip, we're going to take the Osmo. So, not going to look or sound as good, but I huh, wanted something a little bit more discreet. This is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, it's got a decent edge on it. I don't know if you can see that. I feel like this would be good. The problem is the other ones I have don't have an inclined edge like that, so it's not actually getting under the, uh, the grooves. Like maybe that one might be good, but I don't know. I'm going to keep looking. I'm in the paint section, and it looks like maybe one of these might have been a good pick, but none of them are big enough or, you know, strong enough. Most of them are, I mean, they're, they're scrapers, but they're, you know, more like a joint knife rather than an actual heavy-duty scraper, so find this guy which is actually pretty substantial bent chisel with a good leading edge on it so this might be good as well we'll find out figure while i'm here i'm gonna go ahead and get some wooden dowels uh for this uh floating shelf that i'm gonna do or floating shelves plural um might as well get some half inch dowels on here boom i think said that was a pretty successful run um, got everything I needed, plus a little more. Hopefully these scrapers work out. Oh, please, let the scrapers work out. All right, we're back home. Let's get it. That big stick, remember this one? Oh man, game show. I mean, I got more done in 20 minutes than I got done in the past four hours this morning. Okay, that is officially all of the garbage off the floor. I'm pooped. I really thought this would be like two, three hours maybe total. Turned out to be a lot more, but now. Now I just need to get all that garbage. So here's the thing. My floor is never gonna be even in the first place, right? It's just not, but everything I can do to get these little see like I'm scraping and I'm getting chunks right like this left over from the layer below the linoleum there's just a little bit of those everywhere now so final step before I'm gonna call this clean is just going through scraping up all the rest of that stuff do a final sweep and then we'll be ready for hardwood So, another day. Now, we've changed directions a little bit. We're gonna go start painting. I figured while the floors are knocked down and they're pretty bare, I could paint and not worry about getting splatters everywhere because it's gonna go under the hardwood. Not a big deal. So I'm gonna tear out the shelves, paint, trim and floor, and then, or trim in uh, walls, and then uh, I guess we'll see where we are here in a couple hours and then maybe start on hardwoods. Hoping that will be the case. So, uh, let's get started. Okay, another day in paradise. Actually, I skipped the first part uh, accidentally. Took down the cabinets, demo, you can see where they were, right here. Took down these cabinets, painted this wall, painted this trim white, first coat on both. Oh, this part's rough. So, where the cabinets came down, you can see the popcorn ceiling stopped at the cabinets. So I had to take the old trim and essentially, jank it up there to make it work. I think it's gonna be fine, but it doesn't look, doesn't look the best, but hey, we're working with the budget here, so you gotta do what you gotta do. Anyways, let's get back to it. Okay, 
day three. Yesterday was not fun, but I realized since I didn't need to paint, I might as well paint before the floors go down. You can hear the floor is still super sticky from all the rest of the other junk. Got to do the uh, baseboards. One more coat. Got to do two coats on the uh, crown molding, and then floors can go down. Um, I think the walls look great. I like to dig the color. Got some fox black back here and drift of mist on these walls. Um, and we'll do new blinds once everything's set up and ready to go. But I'm just excited, just ready to get these floors down. Looking good though. Got the uh, floor going in on this side. Still gotta do some touch up paint, but I'm gonna do all that once the floor's down because I can't deal with this sticky nonsense anymore. Just having it in the room. Probably shouldn't be, but whatever, got windows open. And I'll just sweep all this shit out of the way before I put the floor down. So. Anyways, I think we will be done very soon. The last box. Look, we are so close. It's down to this right here. I did one test on floating shelf earlier. You can see there. Um, it looks okay. I think I'll do the rest of them like that. But I'm gonna open this last box. I'll be done. Okay, that's it, we're done. Last piece, put in, got the uh, got the vent cut in, everything's good to go. So I've made an absolute mess in my house. So let's clean up and I'll see you on the other side. Now that it's done, I wish I had better overhead lighting to show it off, but I am really satisfied. Still gonna finish doing the shelves, but I'm just happy to have a clean, finished room. Uh, and a crying baby, so. Anyways, here's one more look at the whole room. Hey, thanks for watching. This was super fun. Uh, I think the office has turned out great and uh, I'm really gonna enjoy having this new setup. So, we'll see you next time.